Yeah, this was a wonderful opportunity that came along. Um, it was very soon after this last project that I had been working on Bates Motel that I sat down with David Shaw and discussed the, the script and the character. I think it was only three days, so uh, it was a very quick turnaround. I guess the research that we did for the show and for the character was probably more towards the autism that he has and making sure that that was portrayed as authentically as possible as opposed to the medical stuff. Not that we ignored the medicine, but, uh, but we, you know, maybe do a half hour, 45 minute rehearsal before each scene and, and get to grips with the basics. But the autism was something that we all knew we needed to get right um, and took great care over. Uh, whilst at the same time, of course, remaining aware of the fact that Sean can never represent everyone who is on the spectrum. And so it was as much about looking at the autism as it was finding about Sean as an individual. Yeah, that Sean has, as with every character, Sean has his own idiosyncrasies and a particular way in which he speaks and walks and carries himself and mannerisms. Uh, I'll be interested to see how the final version in Japanese plays with Sean's voice and, and cadence dubbed. Um, so that, that, that will be interesting. I'd like to think that I'm uh, optimistic in the same way that Sean is or, or hopeful. I think he has a wonderful ability to to see the good in people from the beginning and to assume the best as opposed to the worst. Uh, and hopefully we can all learn a little something from Sean in that way. There are lots of favorite moments uh, of mine. I mean, I like the scene in the pilot where Sean gives the speech um, to the boardroom explaining why he wants to become a surgeon and I, hopefully that will resonate and feel poignant to people. Uh, and then further on in, in towards the middle of the season, I love the scene with him and Dr. Glassman in the lobby of the hospital where uh, it's Sean is fighting for his own sense of independence and sort of lashes out at, at Dr. Glassman. And hopefully that is touching because you, you understand where each character is coming from and, and there's no easy answer. We, uh, we have a wonderful group on set. It's, it feels very much like a family now, even after just a season of working together. Uh, and I think partly perhaps because we film in Vancouver, it's very conducive to building a small, tight little bubble of people who are only there to work on the show and, and there to, um, to make it as good as possible. Hello there, I'm Freddie Highmore and I play Sean on The Good Doctor. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that the show resonates with you in the same way that it has for me.